Hi, I'm Bell Ruth Napperstack. I'm a clinical social worker, and um, I've been answering these questions that we get every day from different people. And this is a question about the now tone therapy system. And uh, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, the nows are these, it's a tone therapy. I'm not going to go into a big, big thing. It's, we call them the bingy bongies, the pucks of peace. They're wonderful uh, tone sequences that actually get you into a meditative state in three minutes or less. It sounds nutty, but it's really true. And I don't leave home without them. Anyway, so we get these questions. Some of them are very technical and uh, <laughs> they're very scientific, engineery, very geeky questions. And I don't know the answers to them, but I have sent so many answers to Michael Jolie, the developer inventor of the Pucks of Peace, that I actually know where to find the answers. So I get a big charge out of talking about things I know nothing about. So for the geeks in the room who have these questions, serious, scientific, sound engineery, numeric, musical questions, here's one. And I'm just going to give you the answer that I'm basically reading because this is not my wheelhouse. So a woman asks the question, what frequencies are these tones? Are they all in a certain megahertz or do they vary? And if so, what is the variance? So, you know, my first response was, I don't know. And then I thought, I can find the answer to this. Michael has answered this question before. So my response, which I'm very proud, even though I just copied things, my response is this, and it reassured her very much. It really answered her question. I said, you may be sorry you asked, but here is the answer. Now's tuning is transposed by octaves to C256, then by the cycle of fifths and octaves to put A at 432 hertz. It is essentially a key of C device based on C256 with perfect fifth tuning that places A at 432. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's Michael. Michael is brilliant. And he always gives a short answer. And then he gives a long answer. And the long answer is usually a killer. It certainly is for me. But here's the longer answer. So geeks in the crowd, you're going to love this. The longer answer. Now's middle C 256 is a successive octave, the first frequency ratio found in the naturally occurring harmonic series. It's an extrapolation of one representing oneness, because Michael is not just a geek, he is a mystic, representing oneness, thus one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. Then by cycle of fifth transposition, using the second frequency ratio of the naturally occurring harmonic series, that of three to two, the perfect fifth, we derive 256 times three seconds, equaling G at 384, 384 times three seconds equals D. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop now, but I want to say this. I, I'm, I can't do this anymore. But he, his final paragraph, I do understand, and I want to read to you in the answer to this question. He says, so there are foundation frequencies of now, C256, D288, E324, G384, A432. There is tremendous creative power in this particular tuning and set of five pentatonic tones as our consciousness recognizes truth beauty, and order in them. I love that. And that, dear questioner, is the source of wellness. This is, this is his words. Um, 
there are an essentially endless number of tone sequence combinations in now. Each tone sequence is unique to the time and place that it is heard. You'll never hear exactly the same tone sequence twice. So now makes the present moment both friendly, easy to inhabit, and also unique. So you'll want to return again and again. Anyway, so that's these these now therapy things that are just amazing and they they really do what they say they're going to do <laughs> and they you don't get tired of listening to them because it's never the same twice but that's the official answer in terms of sound engineering geekazoidal brilliance uh, please feel free to to ask more questions I may not be able to answer any of them, but I will find the answers. And sometimes Michael likes to join us too and uh, add to the mix, which is always wonderful because he's brilliant, he's funny, he's a mystic geek, and he's just wonderful. He's become a good friend since I came to know these things and I'm very lucky to, uh, to know him. And, and so are you. Okay, bye. Questions down below. Take care. Have a good one.